What's up, guys? We, today we're in our ugly old warehouse, which is gonna be converted to a kitchen, by the way. That's another video, we're not gonna talk about that. Today what we're testing is, one of the biggest problems we have with outdoor kitchens is finding contractors to do projects like this, especially with how busy contractors are. They don't wanna take on small jobs like kitchen or islands. So today we have the True Island Kit. It is a package that we sell here. Today we're gonna see if someone as least construction inclined as me, if that's a word, can put one of these together. Can you actually have a true stone finished outdoor kitchen without a construction project? We have, looks like some bags of screws, some silicone, some shims, and the island itself. That equipment right there behind you, Elijah, that's the barbecue equipment that goes in this grill. That's some of it, not all of it. The question is, is can I do it? Is it gonna be that easy? Is this something you can buy at home and put together? Only one way to find out. I don't really know what we're gonna discover here. We're not gonna time lapse this because we're just gonna to learn together. Talk about an impromptu video. Good thing I have a lot of practice at that. Just kidding. Just kidding, nothing happened. Do not open from this side. Well, we better listen. So as we take each layer out, we have to make sure the layer behind it is leaning up against the other layer so they don't tip over. It says you always wanna keep them vertical. You never wanna lay them flat, which makes sense. Let's open her up. Okay, so you can see we got it uncrated. What did that take, 20 minutes? Uncrating is probably gonna be the hardest part, honestly. So this is the back wall. And so you can see they have, it's a pretty cool idea, sort of these metal brackets here. And uh, we're gonna screw these brackets into these to these metal tracks and then our corner pieces are gonna install that way. So what you wanna do is make sure that this is sitting nice and flush here. Now some of you guys might rip me apart. Again, I'm not a construction worker. Well, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Brackets are on. I feel like this first one's gonna be the hardest one. Cause once you got your base, once you got some stability to these, I feel like it's not gonna be too bad. So then here's our next end piece. So you, again, you can see we got our brackets there. And then Elijah showed me this. See this T here? That means top. And then see it's marked here. So this says two, two. So we can match up our corners that way. And these corners should be, yeah, come over here. Beautiful. You know what though, I think we're gonna need those shims because see we're not totally flush. See we're sitting a little low. What do you think Brian would do? He's across the street working because he knows how to do this kind of stuff. What do you think he'd say if he saw us right now? Just get it done. <laughs> he, I think he'd come over and kind of be mad, like, what the heck are you guys doing? He's like, you're destroying my warehouse. There's a mess over here. He's like, you guys have no clue what you're doing. What are you doing trying to put stuff together? Well, sometimes we just got to try. Ugh. 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 The reason we're doing this is we're putting it to the test, something achievable or not. All right. Okay, so come over here. So we got our two sides on. You can see that. Now what we have to do is put our front on. Now you can see we have two different fronts with the same labels. They both have a one and an F for the front. So why is there two? Well, what we deduced is that you can order two different fridge sizes for this thing. So our refrigerator is gonna go right next to this. There's a 21 inch fridge and a 24 inch fridge. 
Just so happens these are three inches apart. So depending on the fridge you order is gonna tell you which one you order. So if you ordered the smaller fridge, you're gonna install the bigger one. If you install, order the larger fridge, you're gonna install the smaller one. We ordered the larger fridge, so let's get the front one attached. All right, so we got our front piece on. And again, you can see so far, it's literally just attaching L brackets, corner brackets. Biggest, trickiest thing is just making sure your corners line up where your stone is. So again, this doesn't go all the way across because our fridge goes here. And it looks like after we're done here, we're gonna have some cross bracing here. That way we can square up everything before we put our countertops on. So let's get this last bracket attached. All right, got this beast put together. So it looks like we got power burner, grill, refrigerator. Getting my Red Wings dirty. These are my selling boots. These aren't my walking, these aren't my working boots. So I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. All right, before we get too far and before this gets too heavy, we should probably set it where it's gonna go, right? Okay, what we're using here is an extension cord. Obviously, when you're building this in, don't do that. This is just for a temporary showroom setting, demonstrational purposes only, of course, right? That's right. Okay. Let's figure out what our next step is, dude. We don't have to worry about the ground acres because again, we're gonna be moving this thing around. Okay, so it gives us three reinforcement brackets, but there's definitely only a spot for two. So if you come in here and look, we have these vertical poles. And so what we're gonna do is we put our L brackets on there. See what I mean? There's definitely only a spot for two. We're gonna get it nice and snug here. That way we're square. All right, so now let's get the back one in. I'm pushing it snug with my leg. That way we're nice and tight up against here. All right, so you can see that that gives us a nice square finish, which is what we want. We don't want, you don't want this thing all out of whack. All right, let's attach our second one here. All right, so we got that piece on. So we got our three pieces on, and then you can see they come with the, these finishy, like a finished bullnose edge of stainless steel. To wrap this off when we're done because we don't want to scratch it up now. And you can see, obviously, it's very easy to get this off square. So you can kind of see these kind of help square you up. We aren't going to do this because this is not going to be a permanent setup for us, but you'd want to find where it's rocking. See that? So this is where we would shim. Are you serious, dude? This is the biggest level you could find? So our front end needs to come up here. So we're going to put our shims here. Let's get this, this puppy shimmed up. Look at that. So that one little shim got us in pretty good shape. You would use this dyno flex and we'd hit that on the bottom. So it's gonna be sucked into place, if that makes sense. So this is solid. This is solid. That's solid. We're ready for equipment. All right, so we got it set in place. You can see we took off stainless steel finishing. So now that that's all set, everything's nice and squared up. Now this is the fun part. Let's get equipment in. What do we got here? So we have our storage drawers. All right, so we got that done. So now this is gonna essentially, so it slides in place like that. I really like the finish. It's got a nice finish. All right, so you can see we got our storage drawers in. They're a little bit more of a chore than I thought. Those screws had to end up piloting them with a drill bit, but they still didn't go in. Let's just say I'm not in the best mood right now based on how those went in. All right, should we do the power burner next? All right, while I have this out, take a look at these burners. You can tell that's pretty heavy duty, cast stainless burners. Looks like we have an inner and an outer burner. So you can set the temp or set your settings, I should say. I promise you this burner is gonna do the job. Okay, so this is our power cord. You can see here's your gas inlet. This is just a static display for us. We won't be hooking up our gas, but your gas would go here. And here's your power and your power adapter. Oh, wow. It's just me or is that going easier than I thought? And let's get our first piece connected to power. So you can see we got power to this. And all that does is light up our knobs. 
This is a, a spark igniter, so you don't need power to ignite it, which is kind of nice. So here's how our burner is going to sit. And then what's really cool is this comes out in the center here. And then you can do pots and pans or a wok pan in there if you wanted to. All right, so we got the same exact process with our door kit. All right, now it's time for the fridge. Again, we have a couple fridge options. You can do the 21 inch, which is pretty tight, pretty small. 24 inch, you could do a uh, single door or we have this kind of cool storage door system with soft closed doors. I think it's pretty slick actually. Let's get her in. All right, again, we're gonna plug her in. Woo, she's snug. It's in and then check this out. Here's our little temperature setting. Oh, that's sweet. We got lights. All right, we're gonna set it to 33 degrees. We got ourselves another refrigerator. All right, last and certainly not least, it's barbecue time. Should we get the grill set up? Yeah. All right, so we got the grill set in place. We essentially had to do the same thing, plug the grill in, get it ready for power. All right, you ready to help me, dude? Yep. All right, you're on video, so. Just gotta be cool. I'm glad you wore a cool outfit today. Thanks. Oh, look at that. Let's take our little booties off. All right, let's put this grill together, clean her up, stainless polisher, show you the final product. Here it is, guys. We did it. Did we do it, Elijah? We did it, finally. Finally. And what did we use? We used an impact driver. And Elijah's stupid level he brought me. Like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? Huh? How am I supposed to level stuff off with this level? This is what we used to put this thing together. And our bit set, which half of them are missing now. You gonna be able to find these? I hope so. Hopefully. <sighs> I must say, I'm pretty impressed that Elijah and myself were able to put this thing together. Um, I'm not the most technically savvy guy um, as far as being handy, but uh, we did it. And uh, if we could do it, you could do it. So you guys out there, call a couple buddies, get a couple, get a couple of Sixers, and you'll be able to put this together. Of course, the more Sixers you have, probably the better chance this thing is going to be off square. But you know what? At least you'll have fun while you're doing it. I think it's pretty impressive that you can get a full island set up like this um, without really any tools that you probably already don't have and no construction outside of your gas line and electrical which you can either run extension cords or propane. If you do it that way, then you're really not doing anything. You don't have to do anything at all. You don't need any contractors. So it's a pretty slick setup. Um, if you're not familiar with any of these boys' components, you can, we'll include links below. Don't forget the links um, where you can read individual reviews on these components. This is the Blaze LTE grill. You can do the Blaze LTE in this island or the professional series. This one's the LTE, which is our best seller. Um, in their four burner series. And then the island also comes in a color or a couple different color options. So I think we have the gray with the gray countertops. You can do more of like a brown color as well. But I kind of like the gray. I think it's really universally sound. It's gonna go with a lot of different, different things. But it looks like a completely built in, complete island setup. No one would ever know that you didn't have this done by a contractor. We sell this entire kit in all the colors and with all the refrigerator options and all the grill head options. If you're interested in a complete setup like this, we can ship it right to you. Give us a call. Um, obviously, this summer, with as busy as contractors are, this may be one of your better options um, if you're not going to have contractors available to build an island. And of course, it's going to save you a lot of money. So this is the Boys Island. I want you to get a lot of nice close-ups for the folks at home on just how sweet this thing is. What do you think? You think it looks like a 
an actual built-in island. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, I like it. I love the refrigerator. I didn't think I was gonna like this drawer refrigerator as much as I do. It says we're already at, oh yeah, she's freezing cold already. That's beautiful. So we got plenty of prep space here. Again, this is the true island with the Blaze equipment. You can buy this as a full turnkey package. You guys have to subscribe. If you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom. You can check out this complete island for yourself. Stay tuned for more videos.